Hello everyone, this is Alejandro Cremades and today we're going to be talking about how to make a pitch deck on Google Slides. So before we get started, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and this way you will never miss out on any of the videos that we roll out every week. So Google Slides has emerged as one of the greatest tools for creating pitch decks. So in today's video, we're going to be breaking it down to you and giving you a step-by-step -step guide to create a very powerful pitch deck with Google Slides. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the best way to get started is by using a template. I mean, that way you don't have to start from scratch. You can actually use the template below under the video on the link below where essentially founders all over the world are using it to raise millions. You can just like grab it, click on it, make a copy of it, and then you make it your own and then you start building from that. That way you don't have to start from scratch because you also want to make sure that you're following the right type of structure and the right type of flow that investors are actually used to when it comes to reviewing. So what are some of the ways in which you can really create a pitch deck? So you can actually use an agency, they, or perhaps even an advisory firm like the one that we have, Panthera Advisors, and typically those may cost you between $1,500 and $50,000. Now that is a way to really get something super sophisticated and super professional looking. Another way could be freelancers. If you go to a website like Upwork, maybe you can get it at a very nice price. But again, like everything, you may be getting what you pay for. Another way of really getting it done is internally. Perhaps you have a team, maybe you have a designer, maybe you have a copywriter that can help with putting together all the language. But again, you want to always make sure that you're not starting it from scratch and that you're getting inspired by other pitch decks out there that have been very successful when it came down to really making it happen. So what is a pitch deck for anyways? A pitch deck is the presentation that is going to be putting in the best light possible the story of your business. What you're doing, where you're coming from, where you're heading, maybe even what kind of investment you're looking for, perhaps the team, the problem, the solution, the market. They are basically the best way to package your story so that other people get, can get super excited and perhaps even make an investment. Now. Keep in mind that only on average, investors are spending two minutes and 41 seconds. So typically those pitch decks are gonna have a very nice balance between images and then also text. You are not gonna be able to have a texty document because the last thing that investors want is to have to read. They want to skim through the presentation. So allow them to do that. So what makes a great pitch deck? So, Ultimately, the factors that are going to be determining a very good pitch deck are going to be the following. It's clear, it's unique, it follows the expected flow, it is, it's, it's showing a really big opportunity, and you have the best team to do this, it's tailored, and also is listing these slides. Now, when it comes to listing the slides, you want to again follow the right type of structure and flow that those presentations include. When it comes to the flow, you're going to be following this type of flow. The cover slide, the problem slide, solution slide, market slide, product slide, traction slide, team slide, competition and analysis slide, financial slide, the ask slide, and the thank you slide. So when it comes down to really putting all the work behind those slides, you want to gather all your content and you want to put it in a way in which is compelling and in a way that comes with a bang. So some of the things that you're going to be looking out for are the following. Your logo, contact information, team bios, diagrams and charts, pictures and graphics, financial forecasts, the text you will be using. Now, when it comes to financial forecast, avoid making the mistake that most entrepreneurs make. You do not want to just grab a screenshot from your financial model and just dumping it in there because you're going to lose people. They're not going to have the time to really review that. So try to use beautiful slides 
and also break it down into perhaps multiple slides so that the investor is really able to understand money in and money out, how you're growing your customers, how that revenue is growing. Those are all different graphs that you're going to have as part of your presentation. So when you get started with Google Slides, keep in mind that is a fantastic tool for collaboration. You can literally grab your presentation and send the link to other members of your team that can collaborate on the go with you. So it's a great collaboration tool for larger teams, more than one individual kind of thing, so that everyone has their input. Now, when it comes down to getting started with putting together your slides with Google Slides, some of the things to keep in mind are the following. Integrate and also share and track and collaborate with members. Name it to save your progress. Choose a theme, option or background. Decide on your font, sizes and colors. Copy and paste your text. Add images. Add speaker notes to help you talk through it. Go back and cut filler words. Resize images to minimize file size. Create a view-only public version to share with investors and advisors. Request and compile feedback. Iterate. Practice delivering it as a pitch presentation, 3 to 20 minutes. Compile your supporting documents. Get sending and pitch and meeting and fielding term sheets. So this information that we've provided in this video should be a good starting point for getting out there, putting your stuff on Google Slides, be able to track who is viewing it, and to start to create momentum in you being able to raise money. So hit a like on this video, leave a comment below and let me know what you're up to, and then also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on all the videos that we're rolling out every week. And if you're raising any money, or whatever money, Shoot, shoot me an email to alejandro at pantheraadvisors.com. I would love to help out. Thank you so much for watching.